Welcome back, True Seeker. Saturday, December 9th, 2017. Derek Jeter, who's now in charge of the Miami Marlins, has just sent their best player and possibly the best player in all of Major League Baseball back to his old team, the New York Yankees. And for all of you sports fans out there who can't see what a mocking professional sports are, I mean, it couldn't be any more clear for you today. Yankee goes to the Marlins, sends their best player back to his old team, the Yankees. Look at this. The day Derek Jeter was approved to take over the Marlins was September 27th. September 27th. And that's a very special day. That's the Jesuit Order's birthday. And here I have been saying for years, the Jesuits controlled the world of sports, not just in the United States, but everywhere. It's why last year the Pope gave a speech about the importance of sports and protecting the integrity of sports and how important sports are for people to watch. This was the Pope, who is the first publicly Jesuit Pope. And last year his birthday happened to fall 51 days from Super Bowl 51, and he blessed the Super Bowl, a rig game where you had the Jesuit Tom Brady defeat the Falcons that are owned by the Jesuit Arthur Blank. So, check this out. Now we're putting two and two together here. Look at the gematria of New York Yankees and Society of Jesus. These are the Jesuits that have the September 27th birthday. Look at the overlap. New York Yankees and Society of Jesus are perfect matches with the alphabetic order forwards and backwards. Also interesting, this move comes on Jeter's 74th day of being in charge of the Marlins that he sends his player back to the Yankees. New York Yankees also has Gematria of 74, Derek Jeter 47. With regards to the Society of Jesus, remember Christian equals 47, Jesus equals 74. So does Messiah, so does Gospel, so does Cross. It's all ritual. Understand what religion is. Religion, once upon a time, was government. Religion's about controlling people. And this is what professional sports are used for across the world, to control people, to control where their attention is. You know, when you're watching the sports game, you're getting a lot more information than just the sport. You're often getting told about things going on in the news. You're getting all these commercials. Go buy a new car. Buy some new clothes. Buy some more alcohol. You know. Buy some more pharmaceuticals. It's more than just the sports game. They want you sitting there wasting your life. Getting programmed. And these programmers, they do it all by a code. I noticed something about this guy's salary that reminded me of the Catholic Church too. He is the highest played player. It says, did you know Giancarlo Stanton has the world's largest sports contract? And it's $325 million. And I got to tell you, I didn't know that before today. But I find it so interesting. And here's where it fits in. The Council of Nicaea, which is the Catholic Church where the Jesuits are, that took place in the year 325. And Scottish Rite of Freemasonry equals 325. Talk about this number in many different ways. You know, recently I was talking about the death of Notorious B.I.G., 74 days from his birthday. His album came out right after his death on March 25th, Life After Death. Think about that in light of Jesus, you know. And then what? On that album that came out later that year, No Way Out by Puff Daddy, he has the song Young G's, which is about young Freemasons, and the song's 325 seconds long. There's a whole lot more to that story, but the point is the same repetitive numbers because it's the same gang controlling the same worldwide show. Entertainment, politics, all of it. All the things that control the mind's eye of the masses. Also interesting, talked about this when Derek Jeter retired. He was 42 years old. He's born in 74. He was 42 years old when he did his retirement ceremony with the Yankees. Talked about this then, about the significance of being 42. Shortstop equals 42, the position he played. NYC 42, Freemason 42, Jesuit 42, retirement in the month of May. 
Used to have a long video on this. You know, speaking of Jeter in 58 and him wearing the number 2 in 58, today, the day of this move, December 9th, 2017, 12 plus 9 is 21, plus 20 more is 41, plus 17 more is 58. Today's date has 58 numerology, this move is Stanton. That's the number of Freemasonry. Freemasonry, Secret Society, Solomon's Temple. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, Pope Francis, 58. The Jesuit. And Pope Francis, I've shown that photo a million times. Let's just do it one more time, why not? Pope Francis, hit in hand. Here he is before he's the Pope, doing his little Masonic pose. The Masons are the Jesuits within the Catholic Church. There he is. Back before he was Pope Francis, he was the Freemason gangster. Jesuit. There he is. Head in hand. These people are holding the facts back. Holding the truth back. Pretending to be something they're not. You know, he likes to get up there in his little Pope outfit and talk real soft. Let's all protect the sanctity of sports. How about shut the fuck up, con man? So anyway, Derek Jeter's full name, 84. Jesuit also 84. The man who established the Jesuits. He died 84 days from his birthday. Check this out. The Jesuit order, 84. The word Jesuit alone, 84. The Catholic Church, 84. The man who established the Jesuits is Ignatius of Leola. And I want to show you this just so you can understand how long this has been going on for. This is the man who created the Jesuit order right here. The Society of Jesus. He was born October 23rd. He died July 31st. Now check this out. He died in 1556. It's going to prove to you how long this code has been going on for. All right, so we want July 3rd. Oops, we need our date calculator. July 31st, 1556 to October 23rd, 84 days he died before his birthday and the Jesuits have been murdering people by this number all throughout history all throughout history you know someday Derek Jeter is going to get killed by this code you know they kill everybody by this code even their founder and part of the reason that I think like maybe even the founder died by this code and I can't say this is true for sure, but I think these people really do believe in reincarnation. I think that they believe that they'll be reincarnated if they go out by this code. Because you have to understand, this code, there's a belief to it, that God created the world this way. And these people want to be like God. So they force things by these numbers. They might even willingly have themselves killed by these numbers. It's not just the founder of the Jesuits. But there's what's up today. That's why Mike Stanton got sent off to the Marlins today, September 9th, or excuse me, December 12th. Getting dyslexic. This is why Jeter took over the, the Marlins on September 27th. No. That's why it's all this way. It's the way it works. I'll link uh, these blog posts below if you want to read them. I'll link the Gematria calculator. Go to the Gematria calculator. Type in Jesus, Gospel, Messiah, Cross, Jesus Christ, Parables. You'll see. It's undeniable. Until next time.